Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna go through everything you need to know about a Roblox game. A very, very popular Roblox game called Rise of Nations. And you might be asking me, uh, what is this Roblox game about? Well, it's about you being a nation and trying to conquer the world. But usually people don't conquer the world, so they just make a uh, sort of uh, goal like conquering Asia or whatever. So, well, I hope you enjoy it and it's just gonna be a lot of fun. Also, please note that anything that I said in today in the in this video is just for the game, for the experience of the game and how you play the game. So if I say anything like communism stuff, um, these don't take it seriously and put it into the real life because I don't, I don't really appreciate that. Also, 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 uh, do you see that red button below this video right now? That red that says subscribe. Yup, yup. That that button gives you, uh, gives you a uh, a uh, free free uh free air. Yes, free oxygen. Yeah, yup. You can finally breathe. Uh, I guess. Um. Yeah, just plus it's just totally free. If even if I scam you, this def you definitely won't. Nothing will happen. I promise. I promise. So, uh, bye bye. When playing a Rise of Nations game, there's one thing you must have, and that is a good economy. To make your economy better, there's actually two ways: through increased taxation, and also trading but first let me tell you how to see your own economy first what i want you to do is tap q then after that you go to economy and then as you can see here you can see how much you earn per seven seconds uh, as you can see here we are earning 331 k dollars every seven Still seconds iron. which is not so much and you're gonna use that money to uh, basically have infantry and stuff like that. So do take note of how to check your own economy. As you can see here, um, I'm going to tell you how you're going to find out your resources. Because before you learn how to run, you must learn how to walk. And if you want to earn economy, it's going to be through trading your resources. And the best thing to do is to know how, what resources are in your country. And we are playing Brazil, quite a huge nation. Um, and we're going to see how much resources we have. So, first, I want you to click on your flag or press Q. After that, you tap on the economy uh, button and then you go to resource dash trade. After that, you can see here there's a plus four, which shows how much you're earning every several seconds for that specific uh, resource. As you can see here, with consumer goods, we have negative 17.25. And we have aluminium plus 5, and we have oil plus 20, plus 3 salt, uh, faucet, and we have 0 for tungsten, and titanium, and uranium. Another way to look at your own um, resources, and plus even other countries' resources, you tap on the arrow below, on your bottom right, and you tap until you reach map moods. Uh, it won't look like that. You see resources, and you're going to tap on the resource button. After that, you tap on uh, the specific resource you want. Let's say you want titanium. As you can see here, there's 0 plus 0 0.4 titanium on chill, which is quite good. And we're, there's, if I'm not wrong, there's about 1 titanium on Madagascar. And boy, the lot, titanium is pretty rare in this game. So anyway, that's how you see how much resources you have. You can even do it for... Uh, let's say oil and you can see here plus one you can see it all is quite uh, not so rare quite a lot of oil in the whole entire uh, map and it looks quite it's gonna be quite laggy so um we're gonna teach you how to trade uh, basically the reason why you have to trade with people is to get other resources that you need in the future like you need to make tanks and you still need some stuff like example so um how do we trade so first i want you to click on your country flag or press q and then after that tap on economy again and tap on resource dash trade let's say 
um, we need some oil. Um, let's check here. We have Algeria with 23 plus 23 each time. You see the bracket here? That's how much they earn per like 7 seconds or so. Or 5, I think. And um, this is how much uh, they currently have. So, um, we want to buy this oil from from uh, Algeria. So, we're going to try to buy from it. There are two, two things you can do when buying. You can buy uh, for each every five days from Algeria. Or we could buy a bulk, which is a one-time transaction. We can buy like 100. And we luckily, we have enough money. Uh, we have about 180k. And this costs about... Uh, wait, uh, 180 million, um, correction, um, we, not, but this is 4 million, so we're going to buy. And as you can see, Algeria uh, accepted it. Uh, now, we're going to try to buy, which is every 5 days. You're going to see that the economy uh, goes, my economy goes down. As you can see here, currently I'm 2 million um, and 200k. Let's go to resource slash trade and back to Algeria. We're going to buy... Um, five per time about five every day from algeria and as you can see here um it i use up 200k every five uh seconds it, next we're going to teach you how to sell choose a resource um a resource like iron we're going to trade try to trade some iron um you can um usually you should try to sell it to bots bots are basically players there are uh there are basically countries that have no players playing on. So let's um is anyone playing Vietnam? Nobody's playing Vietnam. We're gonna try to sell one unit of uh of um iron to uh Vietnam. Let's you can sell bulk of course, one time transaction, and sell uh every five days. So let's try to sell it. As you can see here, we made a profit of 30k. Now this should increase. You see, it becomes uh, 54k, 20 plus 30 equals 50, around that. And as you can see here, our iron was just now uh, plus 8 or so, I think. 8.5 should be. And now we trade one unit of iron. And a few more things to note when trading. Um, you do note that if you're trying to... You can when you're trying to buy a bulk, um, and if you can afford it, you actually, um, actually, uh, can't can't put it to the max. Like you can't put two thousand, which is common sense. But there's, um, uh, but there's something fu funny about this. We're gonna show you. Um, let's say we want to buy from Tun uh Tunisia. You actually can. It's actually possible to buy four. Though they gain three, but they you're sell, buying four. Um, it's actually possible. They, as you can see here, now Tunisia should be at negative one. That means they will lose negative one iron every five seconds, which is quite um sad. Usually p players don't uh accept it, but um of course that country is a bot. Thus, you um uh, they will give you. Uh, accept the trade as long as it's not too much. That means it's possible to place 100 iron, um, but usually p players or bots don't accept it, but it's possible. And you also can sell, let's say, 10. Let's say we want to sell 10. Um, to 10 iron, um, they won't stop you. Uh, let's try and make this work. Um, uh, we have we actually have more than a uh, ten. We're gonna try to sell it to Kazakhstan. Um, you'll be great. Um, if Brazil will accept it, we can always. Um, we are trying to s sell. Um, uh, it actually it's gonna take a while because. But I just want to put it. Yeah. See. Um. Just now we had like seven. Yeah. Now we are losing eight point five. Uh, just now we had like twelve. Around twelve. Twelve plus. And then now we are losing a lot of iron <laughs> quite fast. So that means we lose neck, uh, about 8.5 every 5 seconds. Uh, let's cancel the trade. But if you want to cancel a trade, let's say you want to cancel a trade you accidentally accepted or some, or you're just uh, you're losing too much money from buying too much stuff. You can go to click on the arrow uh, at the bottom right. 
you just keep on clicking until you reach trades and you can always cancel you just have to tap the cancel and now your trade between you you and uh, india has been cancelled something like that so um let just say you want to give um your resources a higher price like a higher price for your resources or you want to sell it at a higher price so that they will accept uh, there's a, actually a way you do one thing called the multiplier um let's say we want to sell one to russia they, then you can see at the bottom it says you're selling one unit of gold every five days from russia for four forty three k and two hundred um so basic you see the thing on the right it's the price modifier you can put two um and then you press buy again and then you um buy one unit of gold every day and you can see here it sort of times two uh it's sort of multiplied a bit and you can can do it um continuously you can even place a uh, hundred times but of course nobody accepts it and you can see here it reaches to five million um i actually do not know what's the max but you have to research yourself you can also buy bulk like that you can also sell bulk and sell um and we're go and we're just gonna do this for the memes <laughs> if 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 russia doesn't accept it i don't know what's going on with him today um russia's i think russia is just um like just like like thinking i'm an idiot or something but it's okay uh we have um the settle um nev never mind about him um anyway this is just about how, how you trade oh as you can see here london accept selling and then you'll just buy one So how do you increase your taxation loss? There's quite a few ways. Um, the first way is uh, first you have to press Q. And after that, I want you to go to uh, economy at the top again. And then you go to left bottom, left economic loss. What you're going to do is to increase it. Um, you can place it at high, maximum. It basically just from one times uh increases if you put maximum increases by 50 percent if it's high increases by 1.25 percent if you want and do know that if um you ex if you see stuff like government spending place at medium or um, research spending place at like any of the medium high maximum of these six areas if you want to just reduce it you just have to move it down a bit you it will help so let's put them back down what other ways can we increase our taxation? You may ask. Well, um, you tap on Q again, and then you uh, reach to a place. You tap on ideology, and then you can place. You see, usually you uh, some countries are already democratic, so, but most of them are non-aligned. Some of them are communist, but if they are, but the way to get better taxation is if you have the some uh, choose the this the middle path for ideology and as you can see here um democracy does give you plus 110 percent tax income while liberalism uh plus 20 40 percent uh income of course there are some bad things that you lose during uh if when you change to your ideology so, and do note that it costs political points um liberalism costs about 250 and then after that you need to wait for until you reach 500 then you can move to democracy so you kind of need to wait get liberalism then you can get democracy but some countries are already democratic like india they are currently already democratic as you can see here um you can see here there's democracy and now I can get 110% increase and I have more taxation. Another way is to um, just press Q again and then tap on policies. Policies, there's some stuff, a lot, a lot of stuff. But if you look through, uh, let's look through one by one. Um, there are some of them that plus tax income. But you do know the requirements, like the emergency war fund, you must be at war. And it 
basically um, gives you a lot of tax income, but some bad stuff um, like base, uh, the loss of base stability and unrest reduction. Um, then we have, uh, yeah, this one is an interesting one, the enforced party loyalty. Um, if you have democ uh, democracy, you if you use this, of, of course, there will be high income, tax income. But if you choose ide ideologies, then it will be more focused on uh, what do they offer. So, yeah, you could use that. Um, use that if you want to increase taxes. But you must be democratic or liberal to actually get some benefits for tax income. So, what other ways? Let's see the other. Then we have... Forced labor, but you must be communist. Um, you must get communism, the ideology communism, which is on the left path, on the uh, ideology path. And net, this one plus ten percent minus ten percent build costs, quite good. We got the prosperity act, which plus ten percent, but you need your stability needs to be greater than seventy five percent, less than hundred percent. And um, let's see tax. Okay, this one is you need to have democracy to get use this, so it's plus twenty five percent tax income. So this, so you need to get democracy, then you plus twenty five tax income. So, so now I can actually get it. Um. So what else we got? Uh, agriculture, but you need to lose manpower. Um, we we'll talk about manpower next time. But this plus ten percent tax income, and then let's look at the next one. Next few ones. This is the Neutrality Act. Your ideology must be non aligned so no fascists or communists or democratic people. Um, this one plus twenty five percent tax income also gives some other good stuff, but it doesn't. But there's some bad stuff too. So the Neutrality Act is quite good. If you don't want to have an ideology just yet, you just want to get started and stuff. This is a good place. And then we have, um, we have reached to the end to um, how you can earn taxes through policies. But another way to increase taxes is through another uh, building method, um, and it's building cities. Um, we will go into more depth in a future episode, but basically, um, cities give gives you taxes. If you, um, it helps you uh, increase your tax so you can see here, this one gives me about 484k uh, dollars every 5 seconds. So let's say you want to, we're going to try and increase, how you want to increase the taxes of the, um, of the cities. And so there's like a few ways you can do this, uh, you making use of the city strategy more than putting policies and stuff to A, you can invade another country, maybe like Bangladesh, which is on, near me, and then you could get more cities and they have get more t taxes. Or you can start building cities because um, building cities will increase your taxes and manpower, but we're going to touch on manpower next time. So basically, uh, all you have to do is click on your chosen city. Let's choose a country, maybe a, a, a small country so that it won't cost that much we choose this this city so let's build uh, uh all you have to do is just tap on the city then you can see that square thing and after that you tap on right uh, you can see on the bottom left you can see like this uh the city's name which is called agra hopefully i'm pronouncing it correctly um then we tap on the bottom right and you can choose um, develop cities and you can see the developed cities and you, you see the cost is about 11 million um, and we definitely can afford it so let's develop and as you can see here we're gonna have to wait for a while but and then you can see here there's a city tier this is tier 1 later it will become tier 2 so now we are earning 100k from this uh, sort of uh, place sort of uh, city and we're gonna wait until we reach a uh, fin finished uh, building and we can see the see some sort of difference in between it so we are done as you can see here he plus about 50k and it's a tier 2 city and you can see here tier 2 uh, and that's pretty much um, 
how how much you earn from you uh, a guide on the increased taxation i guess um this is pretty much the whole entire gu guide into increasing the taxation um yeah tell please tell me if there are any other ways uh thank you there are three ways to decrease your military upkeep and one of the ways is that um you can firstly you can just um you click on troops in your uh your country and they, the troops are usually just have a, your flag like example thailand on your left and then after that you after you um after you click it and then you can just uh on the bottom left there's disband and then you disband okay so what's the let's see the difference currently is six four three dot three four k now let's see after we remove this we earn back about 80 like 200 k which is quite good but what if you want to keep your troops and you also um um don't want to like get rid of them because you need them for expansion there's another way what another way you can do this is um you tap q after that you go to again uh, ideologies and then you can put yourself as nationalist or fascist but just go for nationalist first then you can um decrease uh, military upkeep by negative 25 percent and now and um you, there are other other good things but um we just focusing on the military upkeep and then you can neck you have you can minus 25 percent of it that means um since it's 200 k just now for those 80 k troops uh maybe 25 percent will be about about um you okay i'm uh 50 k <laughs> about 50 k you tap Q again, go to policies, and then you can see that there are some policies that allow you to save your mil decrease your military upkeep, like this military service. It does twenty percent manpower. Uh, next time I'll explain it, and plus ten percent military upkeep, and there are many others that can help you to um do this. So this is how you um save. Um, increase your decrease your military upkeep and that's pretty much it so that's pretty much about it guys please be sure to subscribe uh, part two will come out soon and it's gonna go through quite a few more stuff so yep subscribe hit notifications and be sure for some more cool videos G goodbye